Hi students, now we are going to discuss about the formation of harmonics in open organ pipe. So what is a open organ pipe first of all? It is a cylindrical pipe whose both ends are open. So just before this we studied the closed organ pipe where one end must be closed. But here in an open organ pipe both the ends are open. So in this case when stationary waves are formed, the condition is at the open end antinode should be formed. So since there are two open ends, at both the ends antinode should be formed. But in between two antinodes, a node must be formed. Under this condition, what is the minimum possible mode of vibration? That is the formation of a half loop at the bottom half of the tube and half loop in the upper half of the tube. So one loop is being formed half on the top and half at the bottom. So the length of the tube is a capital L. In terms of wavelength, the distance between a node and a nearest antinode is lambda by 4. Similarly, at the bottom, the distance between this node and the nearest antinode must be another lambda by 4. Since this is the minimum possible mode of vibration, less than this, the tube cannot vibrate. So, this frequency with which vibration is taking place in this pipe is called as what a fundamental frequency. At the fundamental mode of vibration, let us take the symbol for the wavelength as lambda 1. So, the length is expressed in terms of wavelength. So, the length of the tube L must be equal to lambda by 4 plus lambda by 4. So, this is equal to lambda by 2. Therefore, lambda 1 must be equal to what? 2L and this is a the first equation required. Now, the frequency of uh, the fundamental mode of vibration in this case is taken as F1 and this is equal to what uh, the velocity of the waves uh, divided by lambda the wavelength. Is it not? So, this is now equal to V divided by 2L. Therefore, the fundamental frequency F1 is equal to V divided by 2L. So, this is a uh, the required equation number 2. This is the minimum frequency with which the open organ pipe can vibrate. Below this frequency, the tube cannot vibrate. Hence, this frequency F1 is called as the fundamental node or the fundamental frequency. Both are one and the same. Okay. So, the minimum frequency with which uh, this open organ pipe can vibrate is called its fundamental note or fundamental frequency. And uh, the other name for this uh, fundamental note is first harmonic. The first harmonic that could be formed in the open pipe uh, is F1. Okay. Now, Little more harshly when the air is blown inside this open pipe, the next possible higher frequency modes of vibrations are going to take place. But the shapes are repetitions of the fundamental frequency. That, that is why the higher frequency vibrations are called by the name overtones. Their frequencies may be multiples of the fundamental frequency. So we are going to discuss what is the next possible higher mode of vibration. I have very clearly told, be it a closed pipe or open pipe in both the cases, the frequency which is next to the fundamental frequency must be one loop more than the fundamental. So here you can see half loop up and half loop down. So what next mode of vibration? One more loop has to be included in between the two half segments. So you can see the diagrammatic representation of the next possible mode of vibration one loop is introduced between the two half loops. So now the length is expressed in terms of wavelength. Since in the same length more number of waves are being produced, there is a shrinking in wavelength. So I take the simple here lambda 2, that is the wavelength in this case. So I express the length L, so L in terms of wavelength. So first is lambda by 4 plus lambda by 2 
plus lambda by 4. So, this is now equal to lambda by 4 plus lambda by 4 is 1 lambda by 2. Lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 is what? Lambda. So, L is equal to lambda 2. Therefore, lambda 2 is equal to the length of the tube itself. And this is our equation 3. Therefore, what is the frequency of a vibration in this air column? Therefore, F2 must be equal to the velocity V divided by lambda 2. So, this is equal to V divided by L. So, lambda 2 is substituted as L here. Now, to adjust this term in terms of the fundamental frequency V by 2L, I will multiply the numerator and denominator by 2. So, this is uh, now equal to 2 into V divided by 2L. I have adjusted uh, the numerator and the denominator. So, V by 2L is nothing but the fundamental frequency, is it not? So, this is now equal to 2 times F1. Therefore, F2 is now equal to 2F1. And this is uh, the required equation number 4. So, what is the frequency of vibration in this mode of vibration is what F2 is equal to twice the fundamental frequency. So, since uh, this is the first repetition, the first possible repetition of the fundamental, it is called the first over term. So, as usual, this is called the first repetition or the first over tone. But, uh, what is the name of the harmonic? It is twice the frequency of the fundamental, is it not? Therefore, it, in this case, it is called a second harmonic. So, this is also called by the name second harmonic. Why second harmonic? Because it is twice the frequency of the fundamental. In the case of the closed pipe, we got a three times F1. So, we called the first overtone as a third harmonic. But in this case, it is second harmonic because it is 2F1. Okay, what is the next possible mode of vibration? Keep it in mind always. You have to add one more loop or segment. Here, one below two half loops. So, there one plus one means two loops must be there between the two half loops. Understand? So, in this case, since there are two full segments and two half segments in the same length, they should be accommodated with a shorter wavelength still. So, I take the symbol lambda 3 here. Okay. So, lambda 3. In terms of wavelength, I am going to express the length of the tube here. So, here L, in this case L, same length L must be lambda by 4. First term is lambda by 4 plus lambda by 2. So, this is a lambda by 2. Again, plus a lambda by 2 plus again lambda by 4. So, now you can see this is lambda by 4. The last one is lambda by 4. If you add, it will become lambda by 2. So, lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 means that this will be equal to what? 3 lambda by 2. 3 lambda by 2. Therefore, lambda 3 is now equal to 2L by 3, 2L divided by 3 and this is the, the required equation number 5, okay. So, lambda 3 in terms of L I have written 2L by 3. Therefore, what is the frequency of vibration in this column is now F3 is now equal to V divided by lambda 3 that is equal to V divided by 2L by 3. So, this 3 is shifted to the numerator. So, it becomes 3 into V divided by 2L. But V divided by 2L is nothing but the fundamental frequency. So, shall I write F3 is equal to 3 times F1? So, this is also equal to 3 times F1. I will separately write. Therefore, F3 is equal to 3 times the fundamental frequency. F1 and this is our required equation number 6. Now, this is the second possible repetition of the fundamental. So, this is called a second overtone. Okay. So, this is called by the name second overtone. Okay. What is the name of this harmonic now? 
since it is a three times the fundamental frequency this is called as the third harmonic so this is also getting another name that is called the third harmonic why because it is three times the fundamental frequency okay now you look at the first harmonic the second and the third harmonics they are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 so i will write here f1 is to f2 is to f3 so this is in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 but in the case of closed organ pipe thus all the even harmonics were not available but here all the harmonics are available here okay now uh, the relation between the overtone and the harmonic if you write means uh, I will write uh, nth overtone okay the nth overtone must be equal to n plus one -th harmonic so we have already summarized here what is the first overtone is the second harmonic second overtone is the third harmonic so here n is equal to 1 if you substitute means uh, then the first overtone must be equal to the second harmonic n is equal to 2 if you substitute means uh, 2 plus 1 is third harmonic is what a second overtone so this is the relationship between the harmonic and the overtone so my dear students what are the important points to be remembered in the open organ pipe first of all open organ pipe is a cylindrical pipe a hollow pipe which is having uh, both the ends open so as per the conditions uh, antinodes should be formed at the open end and in between any two antinode uh, that should be definitely a node okay next point is what uh, the fundamental frequency is uh, f is equal to v by 2l whereas in closed pipe it is v by 4l so in the competitive exams like the NEET and IIT, certainly some numericals will appear from this portion. So you must be thorough with this. Okay, with what minimum frequency this open pipe is vibrating is called its fundamental frequency or fundamental node. And it is also getting another name, first harmonic. Then the next higher modes, what I told you, you remember one loop has to be added extra with the previous case. So that you will get the the frequency f2 as 2f1 similarly in the next case you find the frequency as what a three times the fundamental so here in this case uh, all harmonics are available understand so what is the ratio of the frequencies or what is the ratio of the harmonics in the case of open pipe means that it is 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 is to up to n understand so the relationship between the overtone and the harmonic you have to remember in this case uh, so this is nth overtone is equal to n plus 1 the harmonic. I hope you must have understood well. Fine.